We are at the home place in Pinson, Alabama, and I have to be honest with you guys, I just got lost in this home. We're going to go in and take a look. There, you don't like an open floor plan, you like it broke up a little bit, this is the home for you. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of best of both worlds. You'll have an open floor plan that then goes into being changed a little bit. Uh, so when you walk in here, you immediately are met by this open floor plan, right? And you think, okay, that's cool. We've seen that before. <clears throat> but you haven't <laughs> because on the right side of the house, there's a lot of rooms. And again, I got lost over there. So, but again, we are here in the living room area. So we're going to talk about that first. Then we'll go check all that other out. And you see the main living room area here. I'm going to walk over here to the dining room area. You got your sliding glass patio door here. Perfect to have your grill or smoker out there. And you have your island here with the sink in the island. Some of you like it, some of you don't. You got a place for your bar stools. Probably you could sit three to four people right here fairly comfortably. Uh, and it, they would tuck away right there. You have your refrigerator over there away from the island. Then you have your storage here for your kitchen area. Your stove. And if you'll look right here to the right of the sink, you do have your dishwasher and storage underneath your sink. And of course, we've got to check. Yep, it pulls down. So it passed in that regard. Now you have your hood over your head to get rid of all of your smoke when you're cooking. Coming on down through the kitchen here, you start going into this other wing of the house. And I did say a wing because it is a wing. Now we'll notice you have a little section here. They've got books and stuff set up there. I would probably use this almost like a butler closet kind of thing. Maybe microwave here, maybe coffee station there. I don't know. What do you think? You've got your window over it and you do have your shelving here. I do like the, what they've done there with that. Your Ecobee is right over here to the right where you can control your heating and air. And I'm going to just attack this uh, home tour the best way I know how without getting lost again on camera because I bet you guys will make fun of me. Uh, you've got the door to the outside, another rear door here. And then you've got your laundry area right off to the side of this hall here and you can see where you could put your uh, washer and dryer you have your heating and air return right here back to the right end with your washer and dryer and we are going to go into the hall and try not to get lost <laughs> all right so the thing i noticed immediately is back here right off of the kitchen you've got a little nook area here and i could foresee possibly either a desk here or you could put a freezer here and it because it's right here close to the kitchen i could i could foresee a deep freeze right here it's up to you though uh, but then we're going to turn down and we're going to look and you've got rooms off to the right and the halls that lead into other rooms and then a hall that leads into other rooms we're just going to go this way <laughs> that's all i know to tell you we're going to go down this main hall to the rear of the home and the first room you come to here is a bathroom and the power's not on here so i'm going to do the best i can with my flashlight on my phone to give you a little light in here it's pretty much your standard uh shower here tub combo looks like a it looks like a two-piece actually and then you have your toilet and your sink and mirror there so we're going to come back down this hall a little bit You've got another door to the right goes to another room. We'll show you that on the other side of the house. But we're immediately led to this room in the middle of the home that, again, would make a perfect office, a absolutely perfect office, or a little den area for your kids. If you have kids and you want to put them on this side of the house. Speaking of kids, we're going to take a look at some of the bedrooms. As we go on through here, you can pan right back into this first bedroom that we come to. This is the first guest bedroom that we're going to come to. And you'll notice it has one single window in here. It is a full-size window. And again, you do have the faux hardwood floor. You've got the heating and air in the floor here. It's in the back right corner, back left corner, sorry. But then you've got an opening. They don't have the door up yet, but it goes into a bathroom. I'm sorry, I didn't even show you the closet because it was hidden here behind this and this thing's got all kind of little hidden features in this house this is a house you would need to see in person honestly it's hard to do this home justice in the video 
because it's got so many rooms. But anyway, we're going to come back over into this bathroom. It looks like a, kind of a Jack and Jill style bathroom, but it's, you know, a lot of times the Jack and Jill's will be, the door will be off the other side, and this is not. This is off to the right side. And as you can see here, you do have uh, two sinks and two mirrors and plenty of storage. And again, this is a little dark in here. I apologize, guys. You do have your water closet here your toilet area and you have a bathtub in with the toilet in here so I'm just gonna pan in here toilet with your toilet and your shower never seen that before uh, well, let us know if you have let's know if you liked that what do you think about that guys so you got kind of a little privacy there but you can get in the shower whatever all right so we're gonna go into the bedroom from this direction so this is a bedroom number two and again, it's be perfect for kids. You've got a window in here, one vent in the floor, and you've got then another closet right here. I'm going to take a look at that closet. Again, standard closet. It's a little bit bigger closet. It's got the wire shelving in it. You could upgrade that. And we're going to go into another room. And again, this is a big bedroom. This could be like a second master. I'm gonna call this a second master or a massive office. Honestly, I think this is a second master right here. It's close to the kids' rooms. Uh, again, perfect if you have sort of two families in a home, this would be great. And they don't have the doors up, but I would imagine you'd have, and I know you would, you'd have the doors here and the other side here. So we're gonna walk back into this room off of this other second master, we'll call it. This is not the main master. We'll show you that again in a second. But you've got another room right here off of it. So, and we pan back across here. And this would be another bedroom. Again, I have never seen a home like this before. If you have, let me know. This is a first for me. And you got your closet here. So some ideas, I'm sitting here brainstorming. What would you do with this room? You've got rooms, interconnecting rooms. Maybe a playroom, I don't know. Uh, maybe if you have small children, newborns, maybe that could be a sort of a, a daycare area or a, I don't know, a nursery maybe, who knows? Kind of like the idea of a playroom here for kids if you have a lot of young kids. But we're gonna go back around and now let's look at the real master, the, the big master, and take a look at that. We're gonna go back through the kitchen here. I told you, a lot of rooms there, a lot of rooms. And we're gonna come back through the living room area. And now this is the real master bedroom, the real one. And we're gonna pan back to the right. You do have one massive window. It's a huge window. Now, part of this room is covered up with supplies while they're putting this uh, home together, this mobile home together. So we're going to pan back across. And you have two canned lights in here for your lighting. And again, you do have the vents in the floor. Now, as we pan back, let's take a look inside the master bath. And we'll take a look in there real quick. But before we do that, be sure to hit subscribe if you're not already and hit that bell icon. Also, drop a like for us. Drop a comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. If we're doing something wrong, tell us. We will try to fix it. All right, so check out in here. You've got the two sinks, and you've got the two mirrors, can lighting overhead, and plenty of storage beneath. We're going to step on into the bathroom area, the master bath. And as you see, you have a little nook area there. It would be perfect for a makeup table. You ladies would like that. You've got a place to plug in all of your blow dryers and stuff. And you're over the, uh, you got a window overhead for natural lighting. That always helps out, I understand. I've been told. You have the tower shub. Let me try that again. The tower, maybe a, a third time's a charm, the shower tub combo wow 
I didn't even try to say that fast. I don't think I could if I wanted to. All right, it's a one piece, and then you've got your toilet and a little nook area there, and you do have your walk-in closet here. And it turns to the right, and wow, that's a deep walk-in closet. That's about eight feet to the right and about four feet to the left. So you do have so plenty of space. It does have the wire shelving again, upgraded uh, if, you, if you so choose. Now, the power's off on this home, so I apologize if it's a little dark, uh, but that's the best we can do with it. So let's go take a look at the price. And again, be sure to drop us a comment. Let us know what you think so far. If you're interested in come and see this home, give them a call here at the home place, Pinson, Alabama. Video down, or the information down in the video description below. All right, so this is the Epic by Summit, or the Epic Summit. It is $155,000 here at the home place. This is their discounted price. And we are here in June of 2023, so this price is subject to change. It is a 32 by 80 home. Uh, so give them a call for updated pricing and just see if, you know, what kind of uh, customization you'd like to have. And Brandon just walked in, and I bet you he's got another home tour. He just recorded. Man, you're not going to believe this. There's a claw foot bathtub in that home over there. Really? Let's go take a look at it. If they want to watch it, they can click in the box up in the upper right. You're not going to want to miss this. Yeah.